Hi, this is Cat's Cradle. I am so excited to tell you about tonight's show on the Homestead Honey Hour. I sure hope you can join us when my guest will be Peggy Layton. Many of you will be very familiar with that name. She has written a series of, I think, seven books on the subject of food storage. She is one smart gal. She holds a Bachelor's of Science degree in Home Economics and a minor in Food Science and Nutrition. And she really does use her food storage. In fact, she raised seven children using it. She's out of debt, grows a huge garden, lives off the land. She raises her own chickens, preserves her own food, and still has time left to operate two businesses. Uh, she's also a contributing writer for Personal Liberty Digest, and I'll post a link to that site below because you'll want to go there and look at some of our articles. They're very good, and look around that site in general. It's a really good site uh, to go check out. This promises to be a show filled with information, uh, for those who are serious about prepping and self-reliance, can you think of anyone better to talk about long-term food storage than Peggy Layton? I sure can't. Just real quickly here, I'll show you the covers of a couple of books she's written that you might be familiar with. Here's one, Emergency Food Storage and Survival Handbook. She's also written this book, uh, Cooking with Home Storage. And I think this comes either bound or uh, also in a spiral book form, which is really handy. She's written this series that looks like this. The covers look like this. This one's cooking with beans and rice. She also has cooking with powdered milk, cooking with potatoes, cooking with dried eggs. And I have to admit, several times a year, I have to go to these books and refer to them because I'll have a question about something and she, it, she always has the answer. I think you're going to find her show very informative. She is uh, a no-nonsense kind of person and can talk on a variety of subjects. And although she's not fond of the word apocalypse when used in reference to preppers or those who are into self-sufficiency, she has appeared on uh, two different television shows, one Countdown to the Apocalypse and the other Living for the Apocalypse. I'll try to find links and uh, post those below if I can find them. Uh, I hope you'll join us. Uh, the times were at the first of this video. If you want to go back and check those, if you want to remember, it's 8 Central Time that the show comes on. So th uh, at the appropriate time for your area, you will log on to PrepperBroadcasting.com. I'll post the link below. When you get to our site, it will look something like this. Uh, in fact, I'll post the link that will take you directly to the page where you'll see this. Uh, player 2 is going to be where we are. You'll click on the little white triangular button, and that will allow you to hear the audio. If you scroll down the page a little bit, you'll see a box that looks like this. And if you put your name in the white box and press connect, you will be in the chat room and you'll be able to see all the exciting things that are going on there and uh, see what the other people are talking about. It's a good place to post questions as well. Uh, we hope to see you there. Come join us, Peggy Layton, tonight on the Homestead Honey Hour. Until then, this is Cat's Cradle.